In today's energy clearing session, we are looking at shifting the way we think about things and thinking from the end, from the end back to the beginning. So stay tuned. Hi, it's Robin from Vibration Elevation. And today's card is from Wayne Dyer's Power of Intention deck. And in, up till today, I've never seen this card. So it's kind of different. I like it. And it says, think from the end. And on the back, I'm just going to read it because I, I didn't know what this was all about. It says, highly realized people learn to think from the end. That is, they experience what they wish to intend before it shows up in material form. You can do the same by synchronizing with the power of intention. This sounds like taking manifesting to a whole new level. So when you visualize things, as long as there's no blocks or underlying beliefs that counter, you know, counteract, that counterbalance what it is you are visualizing, if you visualize with emotion, you can pretty much achieve anything you visualize. The trick is to clear out anything preventing that um, state or whatever it is you want to achieve. Because here's what happens. If you were to, let, let's just change this. If I were to visualize a ski lodge in the Alps, let's say my goal is to have a ski lodge. And if I were to visualize that ski lodge, I have no idea where this um, example came from. I don't want a ski lodge. But anyway, if I did, I would visualize it. I would see myself there. I would feel what I felt when I was there. And I would activate as much emotion with this visualizing or pretending. So visualizing is honestly the same as pretending. You can pretend in your mind and it will do the same thing as visualizing. You do not have to be seeing a picture or feeling like you're in a movie. What you want to do is you want to achieve the feelings and the emotion that you would have in that end state. So in this example of my ski lodge in the Alps, if I had no conflicting energy and it just was all in line. There was nothing um, in my energy field that said, you're never going to have that. What? Yeah, that's crazy talk. Um, you can't, you know, you, you can't do that. That's something that you had to have passed down from generation to generation, whatever, what I'm just, I'm literally making stuff up. But whatever that inner talk is, that inner resistance, and it could be, you know, well, you're not smart enough. You're not talented enough. You don't have enough money. You don't have, you aren't all of those things. So whatever those are, those are the things that you want to clear as you do this manifesting and this thinking from the end. So if you choose something right now, pick something that you would like to have for this exercise and this clearing. So pick something, don't pick like the biggest thing, like the ski lodge in the Alps. Pick something that you would enjoy, that you would like. And as we do this, I'd like you to hold that in mind. Like, and you don't have to see it, but pretend in your mind that you are living it, all right? And as you pretend in your mind, notice the feelings. Are they feelings of fear? Are they feelings of um, like, this is awesome. What, what is the emotion behind this? And see if there's negative emotion, no problem. That's why we're doing this. Allow this clearing to release it and then do it again. Do it until it's just positive, uh, like a positive experience and you can generate some positive emotion. All right. Well, my gosh, I've already used up most of our time. So I'm going to do this clearing as fast as humanly possible. And just hold that picture or that feeling or pretend that you already are experiencing what it is you want to experience. Okay. And let's do the clearing.
All right. Were you able to hold that picture or that feeling or that knowing in mind? And as we did the clearing, what came up? Was it positive, exciting emotion, or was it, eh, I can never do that. Oh, that's dumb. Ah, uh, you know, something like that. Some nagging, negative, uh, you're not worthy, that type of thing. Is Was it what came up for you? And did it clear out? So let me know how it went for you. And like I said, you can go back and do this again. And I would do it until only positive emotions or expectations are there. All right. Anyhow, thank you so much for listening and or watching. And I'll see you in the next one.